right guys welcome back to my channel um, so with the release the upcoming release of Black Widow this Friday or Thursday night I thought I would do a list of my favorite and my best MCU films and my least favorite and my worst MCU films so this is going to be the worst or least favorite list uh, might as well get that out of the way. I know some of you are going to hate on me for some of these, but what can you do, you know, opinions. Uh, so let's get this started. All right, so first up is Thor, The Dark World. This movie, probably my least favorite of all of them. This is just not good. Don't know what happened from the first to second Thor. I know there was director change. Patty Jenkins was supposed to direct this, and she left due to creative differences or something and then this is this is a hot mess this is a bad one um i mean chris hemsworth and um tom hiddleston and natalie portman are good i mean now i love kat dennings and i do like the character of darcy but she got pretty damn annoying in this movie so this one this is on most people's least favorite list this one on the bottom you can give this one a pass but i mean if you have to see them all yeah, this is just left untouched. Okay, Iron Man 3. This was extremely disappointing. Uh, the twist in this is really stupid to me. Um, the action's fine. The action's good. Robert Downey Jr. is great as always. Um, Don Cheadle is great as War Machine. The actors are fine, like in most MCU movies. The actors are not bad. It's the script. The twist, again, in this with the, the um, Mandalorian, not the Mandalorian, that's Star Wars. The um, Mandarin, excuse me, um, is just really stupid. That um, is a pretty cool villain, what they did to him here. It's just, it was like an M. Night Shyamalan stupid ass twist towards the end of the film. Didn't like it, kind of brought the rest of the movie down. Really cool end action scene, but overall just not very good. Definitely the worst of the Iron Man films. Yep, worse than Iron Man 2. That one introduced Miss ScarJo back here, so that one gets a pass from me. All right, next up, Doctor Strange. Now, hear me out. I love Benedict Cumberbatch in this role. I think he's really good as Doctor Strange. Um, but... Just the movie is really kind of dull, uninteresting. It's your typical origin story from Marvel. Nothing, you know, overly new and exciting. Uh, the villain is kind of vanilla and plain. Um, Rachel McAdams, love her. She's a great actress, but she is the most useless character in MCU history. She is here to do nothing. What does she do in this movie? She does nothing. So hopefully if she returns in the sequel, which I'm actually really excited for because of all the stuff going on with Scarlet Witch and um, all the other characters in the whole multiverse thing, I'm looking forward to the sequel. This was just your typical kind of blah um, origin story. Not that good. All right, all right. This one, let me get this out of the way. Black Panther. No, 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 eh. Stop the judging. I hear the judgment going on in the comments. I hear it. Stop. Let me talk. Um, Chadwick Boseman is phenomenal as the lead role of Black Panther himself. Uh, the rest of the cast is great as well. Um, Lupita Nyong'o, uh, Sherry, who plays Sherry, Letitia Wright, and Okoye, Denai Guerrero from The Walking Dead. They're all fantastic. Everyone, Michael B. Jordan as Killmonger right here is fantastic. Everybody in this movie is fantastic. As usual, Marvel knows how to cast a movie. But the movie surrounding this phenomenal cast, I thought was just, again, it was an average origin story. There was nothing special about the actual plot. I understand its significance, but I just thought it was an average origin story. I'm not saying it's bad, but it's just not one of my favorite Marvel films. Sorry, what can you do? I mean, opinions. We all got them. So... I am looking forward to the sequel to see what they do. Rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman. You were phenomenal as uh, T'Challa, as Black Panther. Um, but I wish your movie was a little bit better. All right, I'm going to get sexist remarks for this one, as I have before in different videos. Um, Captain Marvel. 
This is a really cool lenticular. It's so much better than the actual movie. Um, again, let me talk. I can hear the hating and judgment down below. But let me talk. I don't mind Brie Larson. I think she's great in this role. Um, I mean, some people don't like her because of the pretty much stupid shit she says off camera that a lot of people don't agree with. But, I mean, I like her. I don't mind her. She does come off as kind of a bitch in um, most of her Marvel interviews. If you watch any of the uh, Avengers Endgame press conference tours, her and her co-stars just don't seem to clash. There seems to be something going on there. She seems to be coming off as a cold, snooty, bitchy, snobby woman. Um, her and Chris Hemsworth do not seem to get along. But back to the movie. Um, the movie, again, was just your average. Wasn't bad. I don't hate it. I'm only putting it on the list because, again, it's just, it could have been better. I thought it could have been better. The way Nick Fury lost his eye to me was kind of lackluster and kind of stupid. Uh, Goose the cat was really cool, though, and he kind of steals the show from Miss Larson here. Um, but good action scenes. You know, Brie Larson, again, is really good. It's just, this movie is just kind of plain to me. It could have been better. Uh, so there is one more. I do not have the steelbook on me. It is the first Captain America. The steelbook is somewhere. Oh, I had. To, I don't own the steelbook. I have it coming in the mail. Uh, I might do an unboxing when I get it. But um, the first Captain America, the first Avenger, it was one of the very first Phase 1 movies. Uh, it came after Thor. I did like the first Thor better, I thought. Again, casting of Chris Evans, perfect. Uh, Haley Atwell as Agent Carter, perfection. Sebastian Stan as uh, Bucky Barnes in the future Winter Soldier, again, perfect. But the movie, again, was just a uninteresting, kind of dull, typical, plain, vanilla, Marvel, let's get the superhero from point A to B to save certain artifact type of origin story. I know that's what origin stories are. I am fully aware of that, but... For some reason, Marvel kind of has trouble with some origin stories, except for Guardians. I will get to that in my favorite list. Um, but yeah, Captain America, the, f the first Avenger, it's just okay. And that is my worst of or least favorite uh, Marvel film list. So I uh, hope you uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you later. I'll be back with my best or favorite Marvel films list.